The Labor Department reported a hiring surge today. The U.S. economy added 225,000 jobs last month. Now the biggest gains were in construction. Unemployment ticked up slightly to 3.6 percent. That is still near a 50-year low. Today, a federal judge in Boston handed down the toughest sentence yet in the college admissions scandal. As Carter Evans reports, prosecutors say one parent's actions really stood out among all of those charged. Of all the parents swept up in the college admission scandal, prosecutors say Douglas Hodge was especially active. For nearly a decade, they say he paid Rick Singer, mastermind of the fraud, $850,000 to get four of his children into Georgetown and USC as phony athletic recruits. And he was wiretapped, allegedly trying to get a fifth child into school. The retired chief executive of investment giant PIMCO begged the judge for leniency, admitting he illegally tipped the scales in favor of my children over others and expressed his deepest and sincerest regret. But Judge Nathaniel Gordon called Hodge's conduct appalling and mind-boggling. He sentenced Hodge to nine months in prison, fined him $750,000, and ordered 500 hours of community service. That same judge will oversee the case of Lori Loughlin, who's charged with even more crimes. Should Lori Loughlin be concerned? Of course. I am guarantee you she's freaking out today. Because she's, she's concerned that what happened to Hodge is going to happen to her. Today, the judge said he would have given Hodge a year sentence, but Hodge's $30 million in charity donations over the years earned him a discount on his prison term. He'll report to prison on March 20th. Nora. All right, Carter, thank you.